Today I will be showing you how I achieve this beautiful individual crochet using this type of crochet braids. What's up, gangs? But before we start, let's appreciate my client's healthy hair. <laughs> so if you look carefully, you can clearly tell that this type of crochet is not for individual crochet braids, but I managed to kill it. So it came in a pair like that together, but I have to cut them into two in order to be able to braid it individually so first thing we did was to braid a single braid and then we cut it into two here this is how the hair looks so i wrap it around my fingers and then just watch and maybe that will tell that will show you exactly what i did so i try to make a knot for myself in order to pass through with the other hair so i can knot it see what i did there that's some tantalizing movement don't play with me don't play with me this part is a bit tricky when crocheting it you have to make sure the crochet pin is right in the middle of the crochet braid so when you pull the hair in the hair doesn't come out or show outside the crochet braid so it becomes neat and after that i cut the extra knot not really the knot but the extra braids around the knot and then i kind of sew it to be sure it doesn't come out that's basically me sealing her hair in the braids and also the knot sealing the knot with the you know yeah so let me try doing it again so you see here there's no knot to use or is it a knot i mean a hole because usually there's a hole in between the the crochet braids right so you kind of it makes it easier for you to just you know put it in and then pull the hair out but with this there isn't anything like that so i have to crack my head and you know i'm very um happy because 